Hi, I'm that Paul Guy, and it's Thursday. It's Thursday, October 31st, 2019. Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, please, everybody be safe out there. Watch out for the little ones and all that stuff. If you're out and about, just, just please take it just a little bit, a little bit more careful, a little bit more safe, and watch out for the little ones. I do want to say happy birthday to mom. It would have been her 29th birthday all over again. Mom was born on Halloween, and her maiden name was West, so you can kind of figure how much trouble I might have got in as a child or growing up as a teenager. I'm just saying it. Not all my fault. It was presented to me like that. We're going to start out with space news. SpaceX is getting ready to test its revised abort thrusters on its Crew Dragon capsule. This will happen probably as early as next month or into the first part of December. The Dragon capsule that is available now is a replacement for the one they lost in April due to a, an engine fire. Uh, not really related to the abort engines, but still, this, this whole process has gone, been done over again. This is going to be a live test that will be launched from the Cape. It, live as in they're going to send the rocket up, cause a problem, have this abort failure, uh, have the, the separation and all that stuff and then uh, see how everything goes. But you can almost bet that if it goes well, you're probably going to be seeing manned, crewed missions by the end of the year or the first part of January. It should happen pretty quickly. To give you an idea of what's going on there, Boeing is about in the same position as SpaceX, but Boeing's working off almost twice the budget that SpaceX has. So that's pretty special in itself. Congrats to Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic, as of Monday, is the first publicly traded spa human spaceflight company in the world. Uh, on the heels of a, another merger with a tech company and $20 million worth of investment from Boeing, and things are looking really, really good for Virgin Galactic right now. They're also about to start space flights, and that should happen probably maybe by the end of the year, probably by the first part of January. That's the one that has a space flame that will be taking tourists up into Earth's orbit or low Earth's orbit. So it'd be uh, pretty interesting to see, and I'm sure that will be newsworthy, so we'll see how, how well that goes and how well that's received. There's about 600 people on that waiting list right now. In tech news, Facebook, uh, amongst a bunch of backlash from political ads, it probably is not going to get any better before it gets worse. Uh, CEO Jack Dorsey of Twitter has announced that, that Twitter will no longer be airing any kind or allowing any kind of political ads whatsoever. This includes anything on immigration, climate change, uh, candidates, anything like that, anything of the sort, Twitter has nixed it. And J Jack Dorsey has said that he thinks that the political message, the reach of a political message should be earned and not bought. So as of next month, I guess that'll be November, they're not allowing any kind of political message whatsoever on Twitter. Something that's not really tech related, but sort of is tech related. Uh, YouTube personality, Mr. Beast, who's got quite a following, um, has come up with an initiative. I guess he was sort of challenged by somebody, but he has come up with an initiative called Team Trees. And this is an initiative to plant 20 million trees and do it by the end of the year this year. So that's roughly 60 days left. Uh, he and a group of people did go out and they, they planted several trees, several thousand trees, but obviously it's not 20 million. That's a lot more than even several thousand people can do. So what has happened now is for, he is linked up with the Arbor Day Foundation and for every dollar that's donated to Team Trees, one dollar donated to Team Trees will result in one tree being planted, usually in an area that it's needed. So the Arbor Day Foundation will be able to find where these, plant, where these trees are needed, where they need to be planted, what kind of trees and all that stuff. They'll take all the guesswork out of all that. But for every dollar that gets donated to Team Trees, Arbor Day Foundation will be planting a tree. Uh, this is all, the goal is 20 million trees, obviously $20 million. Several people have already donated large amounts. So uh, people like Elon Musk and the, and the CEO of Shopify have both pledged a million. The good news of this is they've already raised $10 million in about five days. The bad news is they still have about 10 million more. So I'll leave links to the video posted by Mr. Beast and to teamtrees.org in case you're interested at all. But it's a very worthy cause. And 20 million trees, although it might, might, might not make a dent, it sure is a good effort. And it's good to see when everybody works toward the same goal and forgets some of our differences, uh, how we, if we're all rowing the boat in the same direction, how fast we can go. And it's pretty cool to see. And gaming news, 
Sony has announced the latest sales figures for the PlayStation 4, and it is now the second highest console ever, sales-wise. It, it has sold more consoles than any other except for one. Any guesses on what that one is? If you said the Super NES, that's a good guess. It's wrong, but it's a good guess. The Super NES only sold about 50 million consoles. The leader with 150 million consoles, the PS2. The second version of the PlayStation sold almost 150, and Sony's PS4 has sold about 103 million consoles. So uh, it doesn't look like it's going to catch the PS2 because the next year the PS5 is going to be coming out, but it sure has sold a lot, and I didn't realize it sold that many and was that far short of the PS2. So along the lines of P PlayStation and gaming and all that, I told you I'd mention if PS Plus or if Xbox Live had any decent games to talk about that would be coming up on their free programs. Uh, so uh, that being said, I'm not going to say anything about it. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is. Not a whole lot of nada coming out next month, folks. One bit of sad news to share, though, in the tech community. YouTuber Kevin from Tech Showdown lost a, a very short battle with a bacterial infection in Taiwan. Uh, this past week. He, um, he had a channel. He's from New Zealand, started his channel there, moved to Taiwan to so be closer to where all the action was and everything, and um, had about 40,000 followers or so. But he suddenly got ill last week, went into the hospital, and it happened very, very quickly. They medically induced a coma, and his organs started shutting down. So um, it's, it's really sad to see somebody passed like that, especially somebody you've seen and you feel not really like you know, but I mean, you're familiar with. And um, it seems that he was very, very well respected amongst many of the tech tubers that are out there. And it's a very sad day and a very dark day. And you can see that and you can kind of feel that on a bunch of the videos that are out right now from the tech community. But I wanted to mention that and uh, just to wish his friends and family well, and uh, that uh, all of us out there, even with the small channels, are thinking about him. That's all I got this week, folks. So you're welcome to share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me any kind of messages. Still trying to hit 100 by the end of the year. It seems like small potatoes come, you know, with the midst of other things going on. But I uh, would like to hit 100 by the end of the year. So if you don't mind subscribing, if you're already not. Otherwise, let me any kind of comments you like. And until later on this weekend, maybe, uh, that's all I got. So I'll see you later.